Here you go. Hello, I'm Wes. And I'm Tony. This is Local News, on time, all the time. Today we're going to be talking about the endocrine system, one of the most important organ systems in our bodies. That's right, Tony. There are many parts of the endocrine system, including the pineal body, the hypothalamus, the pituitary gland, the thyroid gland, the parathyroid gland, the adrenal gland, and the gonads, including the ovaries and testes. These parts of the endocrine system using hormones are used to simulate the organs of the endocrine system, including the heart, stomach, kidneys, pancreas, and intestines. This is a very important system, for it influences almost every cell in our bodies. Without the endocrine system, we have nothing to stimulate our mood, growth, and development, tissue function, or metabolism, as well as our reproductive functions. Later, we'll discuss about one of the disorders of the endocrine system, disorders. But until then, keep fresh. Okay. My soccer team has never won gold medals. But later, when I started taking steroids, I became the MVP of my team. And we all won gold medals. One week later, though, I was diagnosed with pileosis hepatitis and acne and gynecosmastia and small testicles. Go team. Steroids. You lose even if you win. Hello. Welcome back to your daily news. It's now time for our disorder segment. This time, goiters. For those unaware, goiters is a disorder in our thyroid gland just below the Adam's apple. This is either due to hyperthyroidism, too much thyroid hormones, or hypothyroidism, not enough thyroid hormones. It could also be caused by eating too much goiter promoting foods like spinach and soybeans. Who knew that they can be so deadly? But the most common reason is the lack of iodine in our bodies. For those with goiters, while it can be painless, it's very hard to swallow or breathe. Soon I'll be talking about someone and his opinion on goiters. But later, say fresh. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. The prompts tomorrow, I don't do this goiter's disease. Did someone say goiter's disease? Jiminy Cricket, it's Dr. T. Thanks for saying the obvious, Carl. Yes, I, Dr. T, defender of the thyroid gland, have a solution for that bolt of yours with this. What is that, Doc? Why, it's level thyroxine. Just take one pill after meals, and... Wow, I feel better already. Thanks, Dr. T. My partner, Tony, has been interviewing people around town. He's going to find out people's knowledge of goiters, is, namely, do they know what the causes of goiters are and what the effects are. Tony, let's send it over to you. I am staying with this kid right here. What's your name? Matt. Matt, and... Tell me, Matt, what do you think about goiter? Do I think about it? Yeah. It's very bad. Yeah, do you know what causes goiter? Uh, I know it's something with iodine. Yeah. Do you know what endocrine part of the body does it, is affected? No. No, it's called the thyroid. It's like somewhere near the Adam's apple. You know what the Adam's apple is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some weird thing. So, what do you, what do you think... Do you think it's a serious problem? I think so in some countries that are like malnourished. Yeah, that don't have too much, that doesn't get enough iodine in their food, so yeah, it's really serious. So, um, do you know anyone with light goiters? No. Do you know what it looks like? I know it's like a giant like bulge, it's kind of like a frog. Yeah, it's kind of like a frog, so some weird play, places have those. So. All right, thank you. Thank you, Tony. Well, that's about all we have for you today. Thanks for watching, and until next time, signing off, stay fresh.